in the country. These are called crescendo. They show an increasing trend of loudness. Then decrescendo murmurs. Decrescendo are the ones in, uh, whose intensity goes on decreasing. And crescendo, decrescendo murmurs. These are some specific murmurs. Which mean, uh, initially, the intensity goes on increasing, then the intensity gets decreasing. Location of maximum intensity depends upon where the murmur is originating. Like you are expected to uh, hear the murmur of material vegetation in the apical area, the murmur of aortic stenosis in the aortic area. Then is the radiation of murmur. Specific uh, pathologists have got the murmurs who radiate at specific sites. And it just reflects the direction of flow. Like uh, the murmur of material vegetation is supposed to radiate to left axilla. But at times when the jet is immediately directed, in cases of flare post posterior leaflet, the murmur of material vegetation may actually radiate to aortic area. And the murmur of aortic stenosis, it frequently radiates to carotids upwards. Then is the intensity of murmur, uh, grading starting from 1 to 6, there are different grades of murmurs. Uh, just going to skip these. Then is the pitch, high pitch, low pitch murmur that we talk in the initial slides that you just have to remember that there is one major murmur that is low pitch and that murmur is the diastolic murmur of microstenosis. Baki some murmurs are relatively high pitched. Quality of murmur is some murmurs are uh, like that, blow kar raha hai koi, some are harsh, some are like rumbling, some are musical. And then sorry, there are some additional features. Like variation in respiration, uh, largely the murmurs related to the pathologies of right heart, they increase on inspiration. And the murmurs related to pathologies of left heart, they increase on expiration. And then position of the patient, the murmurs related to mitral wear, they are easily audible if you ask the patient to take a left side. And the murmurs of Aortic and pulmonary valves, they get enhanced if the patient stays sharp and leans forward. And then there are special maneuvers like uh, squatting, standing up, and well salva. And give you briefly about that. Okay. Okay. Let's talk of well salva one of first. Well salva, what is it? You ask the patient to take a, take a deep breath, inhale, correct, then close his nose and try to expel his breath. Shuru ka jo inspiration phase hai, usko phase 1 kehte hai, Galsalva. And then jo expiratory phase hai, post expiration wala, that is called the second phase. Most of the changes that you appreciate with regards to murmurs, they happen in second phase of Galsalva. Just may a patient zor laga raha hota, expirate karne ni kushish karna. And which are those changes? The bold ones are the positive changes, jo ke yaad rakhe, baaki sab negative changes hai. So you just have to remember the first two sentences. What happens in second phase of El Salva, the murmur of hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy gets amplified. Let's continue. And the Click and late systolic murmur of mitral valve prolapse comes closer to S1. You can say the duration of that murmur increases. Including aerotic stenosis, aerotic girl, permanent stenosis. In this maneuver usually the This maneuver helps you in better appreciating when you are suspecting hokum on clinical examination. So, you can see the MVP. If you have a MVP, you can see the MVP. The permanent duration is prolonged. If you have a job, you can see the negative impact. How do we classify the systolic murmurs? Systolic murmurs are of two types. The one, first type is crescendo, decrescendo, or the ejection murmurs. Ejection murmur, they are audible in the middle phase of systole. And the other variety is holosystolic or pan-systolic murmur. Yani kuch systolic murmurs hain just sirf uh, ek narrow timing ke liye aapko sunai dete hain, short duration hoti hai. Aur kuch systolic murmurs hain jo throughout systole aapko sunai dete hain. So what are the examples of 
इंजेक्शन सिटोनिक मर्मर्स द मर्मर ऑफ एटिसिनोसिस होकम परमिस्टिनोसिस एंड द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ होलोसिस्टोनिक मर्मर्स आर माइटर रिगर्जिटेशन ट्राइकेट्रिक रिगर्जिटेशन एंड वेंटिकुलर सेक्टर डिफेक्ट दीज मर्मर्स आर ऑफ लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन कंपेयर टू द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ Let's talk of the uh, ejection systolic murmur or mesh systolic murmur first. They are of crescendo to decrescendo types. They could be innocent, could be physiological like in anemia, pregnancy, and situations of fever, and they can also be pathological like those the, those of aortic stenosis, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, and pulmonary stenosis. Let's talk of the AS murmur, aortic stenosis. एयोटिक स्टिनोसिस मर्मर के साथ एक और एसोसिएशन क्या आएगी जैसे प्रोफेसर स्कूल ने आपको कहा फर्स्ट यू हैव टू कंसेंट्रेट ऑन हार्ट साउंड और आपका थोड़ा सा पहले ही प्री फिक्स माइंड बन गया होगा कि सेकेंड हार्ट साउंड इज सॉफ्ट स्पेशली द एयोटिक कंपोनेंट ऑफ सेकेंड हार्ट साउंड इज सपोज टू बी सॉफ्ट इन केसेज ऑफ एयोटिक स्टिनोसिस एंड फिर मर्मर क्या क्या फीचर्स होंगे इट्स लोकेशन विल बी इन द एयोटिक एरिया जो कि पहले डिस्क्राइब किया हमने इट इज बेस्ट हर्ट वन द पेशेंट बैंड सेलेक्टेड फॉरवर्ड सिट्स आर फ्रेंड बैंड्स फॉरवर्ड Now, since this is something related to left heart, this murmur gets enhanced in the expiratory phase of breathing. And as per characteristic, it is harsh, loud, and may have an associated thrill at the aortic area. And an ejection click as well. Now, let's listen to the sound of aortic stenosis. In other words, in the presence of this murmur, you would be able to differentiate, to appreciate S1, S2 separately. S1, S2 भी आपको सुनाई दे रही होगी और ये murmur भी आ रहा होगा. Contrary to that, when we will go to pan-systolic murmur. In the presence of pan-systolic murmur, it gets difficult to appreciate S1, S2 separately and the murmur separately. सब कुछ मर्ज हो रहा होता है. You will just be able to appreciate that this is a murmur that is happening in systole. S1, S2 उसके साथ मर्ज कर रही होती है. Just as S1 है कि murmur start हो जाएगा, murmur खत्म होकर साथ S2 आता है. Aortic stenosis में you would be able to appreciate first heart sound, second heart sound, and the murmur in between them. एक दफा फिर सुनते हैं, फिर आगे चलते हैं. परमिस्ट्रियोसिस का मर्मर एटिस्ट्रियोसिस से बहुत मिलता जुलता होता है इट्स लोकेशन इज डिफरेंट इट इज बेस्ट हर्ड हर्ड एट लेफ्ट सेकेंड इंट्रोपास्टर स्पेस अगेन वेन द पेशेंट सिट्स आर एंड लीन फॉरवर्ड एंड नाउ सिंस इट इज समथिंग रिलेटेड राइट हार्ट इट एक्सेंचुएट्स ऑन इंस्पेरेटरी फेज ऑफ ब्रीदिंग करेक्टरिस्टिकली इट इज हार्ट लाउड एंड अगेन इट मे हैव एन एसोसिएटेड थ्रिल एंड एन इंजेक्शन क्लिक एज वेल Dr. Muhammad Ishwak Sahib is with us, so, so please uh, take a seat on the stage. Sir, up and come, sir. Uh, as we discussed, that in case of aortic stenosis, A2 is soft. The aortic component of second heart sound is soft. In cases of pulmonary stenosis, the pulmonary component of second heart sound is soft. Now let's listen to the sound of pollution noises. Uh, obviously again, since you don't have the liberty to place your thumb over the carotid, at times it gets difficult to appreciate the thing just on auscultation. It is very similar to the murmur of aortic stenosis, but you would be able to differentiate it from aortic stenosis 
due to its different location, it will be most pronounced on the left side of sternum and it will get enhanced on inspiration, contrary to the, that of expiration of aortic stenosis. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The murmur of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is produced by the obstruction in the ventricular outflow tract and it is best heard in between the left sternal edge and apex. Just like this picture, you can see it. In between the left, left sternal edge and the apex. And what are the characteristics of this murmur? Uh, it does not relate to neck. It does not relate to neck. It does not relate to neck. Other associated findings are the carotid strokes are brisk and may be bifid. When you feel the carotid, you will have a lot of brisk strokes in it. And then it, this murmur gets enhanced with specific maneuvers. Though these maneuvers are very physical, they are very physical. One of them is uh, you ask the patient to square down and then suddenly stand up. So when the patient stands up, this murmur gets enhanced. The second one is well salva again. So both these maneuvers enhance the murmur of hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Standing from sitting and well set the maneuver. Here yeah, normal heavy. Again, this is harsh, something like aortic stenosis. Now, how would you differentiate it from aortic stenosis? That its location will be different from that of aortic stenosis. Aortic stenosis का मर्मर इसी तरह का बहुत ऊपर जाके आ रहा होता है आपको ये आपको लेफ्ट सर्नल एज और एपेक्स के दरमियान में सुनाई देगा एयोटिक सिनोसिस का मर्मर क्या होता है एक्सपेरेशन पे बढ़ता है इसका रेस्पिरेशन से कोई इफेक्ट नहीं होगा एंड देन द डायनेमिक मूवर्स विल हेल्प यू इन डिफरेंशिएटिंग दिस फ्रॉम एयोटिक सिनोसिस There is a can we differentiate the murmur of Hokam and aortic stenosis? Now, the murmur of Hokam comes in the middle phase of systole. What happens when we ask the patient to stand or do well salva maneuver? It increases in, in its intensity. Or if the patient says that rapidly squat, the murmur diminishes. Ho so this is the typical feature of Hokam murmur. What will happen to a patient of aortic stenosis if you ask the patient to carry out the same maneuvers? So, almost the reverse will happen. If a patient of aortic stenosis is asked to perform well salva maneuver, the murmur will actually decrease in its get decreased in its intensity. And when you ask the patient to squat down, the murmur gets enhanced. So, the easiest the easiest way to remember is a bilkul ulte kaam kar raha hota hai. होकम से ये जो आपके देखिए याद रखने का तरीका क्या है कि होकम इज नॉट अ कॉमन मेमर इट इज समथिंग अनयूजुअल एंड दिस मेनूवर्स आर आल्सो अनयूजुअल आप मेनूवर्स करवाते हैं कि इसमें वो अनयूजुअल पैथोलॉजी में होकम में करवा रहे होते हो तो ये मेनूवर्स भी पॉजिटिव फाइंडिंग कहां देते हैं इसी अनयूजुअल पैथोलॉजी में सो दिस टू अनयूजुअल मेनूवर्स द वेल सर्वा मेनूवर एंड स्टैंडिंग फ्रॉम स्क्वैटिंग दे एनहांस द मर्मर्स ऑफ होकम एयोटिक सिनोसिस में इनका उल्टा असर होता है उसको कम करते हैं Let's move on to pan systolic or holosystolic murmurs. First of them is mitral revegetation murmur. It is a holosystolic murmur, best heard at apical position with the di diaphragm of the stethoscope. It increases on expiration since it is a left sided murmur and its characteristics are soft, high pitch, and low. Now, I would like you to concentrate on this sound and memory. You can see that it is a little bit of a sound. You have to appreciate it in this, this time. You are not able to if, uh, specifically differentiate this murmur from S1 and S2. You have to know that S1 and S2 are here. लेकिन आप कंसेंट्रेट करके पता लगेगा कि ये जो S2, S1, S2 के दरमियान के सारी फेजेस इसी ने ऑक्यूपाई की हुई है। आप ये नहीं बता सकते कि ये सिस्टमिक किस फेज में स्टार्ट हो रहा है। इट दिस मर्मर टेंस टू मर्ज विद S1 एंड S2। 
दोबारा समझ सकते और इसका करेक्टर ब्लोइंग है और इसका ड्यूरेशन लंबा है कंपेयर टू म्यूटेक्स जो कि माइक्रोवेल प्रोलैप्स के लिए है इट्स नॉट ऑलवेज नेसेसरी दैट अ पेशेंट माइक्रोवेल प्रोलैप्स विल हैव माइक्रोवेल वेजिटेशन अगर सिर्फ माइक्रोवेल प्रोलैप्स है तो यू विल जस्ट बी हेयरिंग अ क्लिक इट मीन्स इज सॉलिक क्लिक और अगर वेजिटेशन भी है तो फिर क्लिक के फौरन बाद एक शॉर्ट सा सिस्टॉलिक मरमर भी सुनाई देगा अब ये जो साउंड क्लिक करेंगे इसमें आपको शुरू में सिर्फ क्लिक आ रही होगी एस वन एस टू के दरमियान एक एडिशनल साउंड होगी उसके बाद फिर आपको मरमर भी सुनाई देगा थर्ड साउंड आप इसको एक दफा मैं फिर से प्ले करूंगा शुरू में आपको नॉर्मल हार्ट साउंड सुनाई दे रही होंगी एस वन एस टू फिर S1 S2 के बाद एक थर्ड साउंड आने लग जाएगी जो कि क्लिक है वो उन्हीं वाली S1 S2 के दरमियान आ रही होगी उसके कुछ मिनट्स के बाद फिर आपको मरमर भी सुनाई देने लगेगा जो उसी क्लिक के बाद आ रहा होगा नो लिसन गेन एंड ट्राई टू कंसनट्रेट फिजिकल फाइंडिंग ऑफ एटल सेक्टर इफेक्ट इज फिक्स ऑफ एस टू 
and if it is complemented by a faint murmur, the diagnosis becomes easier. Let's listen to the finding, auscultatory findings of ASD. Especially if you ask the patient to take uh, left side and hold his breath on expiration, the murmur will be best heard. And with this, an important finding will be the first heart sound will be loud. And it can happen that the patient also has the first heart sound on the pen paper and the first diastolic thrill. So, the mitral stenosis has been diagnosed before the murmur has been diagnosed on the patient. When you can uh, feel the first heart sound or you can say the apex beat is tapping and if you find a diastolic thrill then patient will talk about it after that auscultation start karne, you find a loud S1 or clear or the other and then fourth thing is the diastolic murmur this is the mitosis of murmur this specific feature kya hai? this is D crescendo crescendo Initially, it goes on decreasing in intensity and in the last most portion, it gets enhanced for a very short duration. And this is called pre-systolic accentuation. Mitosinosis, if you recall, there is an impaired feeling of left ventricle from left ventricle because uh, there is a hindrance in between in the form of mitosinosis. So, the, uh, all the pathologies related to DAS, the diastolic feeling of left ventricle. And the, uh, if you recall the phases of uh, DASPI again, the last segment of DASPI is atrial kick. When atrial kick comes, then the last part of the last part is enhanced diastolic feeling. That's why the diastolic murmur and mitosinosis is produced. It uh, appears throughout DASPI. In the last segment of DASPI, due to atrial kick, there is an accentuation in it, which is called pre-systolic accentuation. If the patient gets into atrial fibrillation, which commonly happens in cases of mitosinosis, this atrial kick loss is lost. That's why you won't be able to hear this pre-systolic accentuation. Mitosinosis ki baki auscultatory finding vessel rehengi, severe pre-systolic accentuation is dependent on atrial kick. And it, it, it can only be auscultatory uh, it can only be heard if the patient remains in science, not in case of interfibrillation. Another important auscultatory finding of mitosinosis is the opening snap. In cases of mitosinosis, when the valve is pliable, it's not fixed, when it opens up, it produces a sound, and this is called opening snap. If you can appreciate this opening snap, this indirectly means the valve is still pliable and you can uh, consider him for balloon valvotomy. Obviously, nobody is going to perform balloon valvotomy just in auscultatory finding. We will be needing echocardiographic evaluation as well. But this correlates with the valve pliability, the opening snap. Since this is one of the most commonest murmurs, I have actually got four different sounds of mitosinosis here. Happening after 
Anatomically, all of you know they, that patent ductus arteriosus is, is an abnormal communication between aorta and pulmonary artery, and it leads to continuous flow from aorta to pulmonary artery, regardless of the cardiac cycle. Systole may be hota hai, diastole may be hota hai. Diastole may cross over the rakha hota hai, systole may north rakha hota hai. So it's normal, it's audible in both phases of cardiac cycle, systole as well as diastole. This ka shape bada diamond sound. It starts in lace history, keeps on growing in intensity, then in diastole it becomes lesser and lesser and lesser. Or usually PDA wale patients tachycardic hote hain, so this is a very machine sound there with the PD commander. It is another example of mixed murmur to ASAR ki tarah, both sides of party cycle hai hota hai. Isko play karte hai. Normal. The easiest way to recognize the murmur of PDA is, aap thoda se imagine karna abhi dubara chhaunga. Just imagine that a background noise is running, and for a little while, that noise is increasing. Then, the background is changing. The noise is not stopped. There is a continuous background noise, which is a continuous murmur, which is increasing in the system. And then, that is running in the background. Let's listen again. Now, let's listen again. स्ट्रॉम आ रहा हो उसकी कंटिन्यूस आवाज़ है लेकिन कभी कभी वो अंदर अंदर बढ़ती है सिर्फ सिस्टी में बढ़ती है एनहेंस होती है अगेन दिस इज़ द कंटिन्यूस बैकग्राउंड नॉइस जो सिस्टी में एनहेंस होती है Thanks.